Hi guys, it's Miss Tara. I'm here to read your devotion to you tonight. Um, tonight's is Big Kids Do Cry. And I agree, big kids do cry. Um, and here's our verse for tonight. Jesus wept, John 11, verse 35, NIV. Just, re- just know that that is the shortest verse in the Bible. And you need to remember that verse because it's always on a Bible quiz. Ready? All right, crying. It starts the moment you're born, literally. And it just keeps happening. No matter how old you are, it can happen when you're sad or frightened, when you're happy, or even when you're outside on a windy day or inside chopping up an onion. So what's up with all those tears? Did you know there are actually three different types of tears? Continuous or basal tears are the ones that you have all the time. They keep your eyes moist and seeing clearly. Then there are reflex tears. They happen on windy days when you're cutting onions. But it's the third type that you usually think of, the phycogenic tears. Those are the tears that you cry when you're sad, afraid, or overjoyed. When tears run down your face, do you ever wonder what God does while you're hurting? Well, the Bible says exactly what he does. God sees your tears, keeps a list of them, and then tucks them safely into a bottle to keep them. That's from Psalms 56 verse 8. That's just proof of how much he cares for you. God doesn't stop with just seeing your tears. He weeps right along with you. Jesus showed this when his friend Lazarus died. Lazarus' sisters Mary and Martha were crying, and the Bible says that Jesus wept too. Now Jesus knew he was about to raise Lazarus from the dead, and the story would have a happy ending. So why did he cry? Because his friends were hurting. And since Jesus is your friend, he hurts and weeps with you when you're hurting even when he knows exactly what he's going to do to give your story a glorious ending. That just makes me so happy. Uh, Be amazed. Why does your nose always seem to get drippy and sniffly when you're crying? Well, it's because tears, at least the ones that don't run down your face, actually drain into your nasal cavity through tiny holes in the inside corners of your eyelids. Once there, either you swallow the tears or they drip out of your nose and you thought only your eyes cried. Lord, thank you for always being right by my side, especially when I'm hurting. It comforts me to know that you'll feel my pain and that you work to make things right. This is is one that I've thought about a lot this last week, um, about big kids do cry. Um, I, I know in my house that I cry a lot um, when I'm happy, when I'm sad. Um, I cry over silly commercials because they pull up my heartstrings. Um, and I actually, I cry a little bit this morning because um, somebody that I love very much is, is very sick. And, and I kind of realized how, how sick she is and, and the impact it's going to have um, on us as a family. And and to know that Jesus is holding me and my family and, and her close um, as we walk through this together. Um, and knowing that he's going to be holding those tears and holding me. And no matter what, that he's he's got this. Um, just, just brings so much relief to know that I don't have to be the one. Um, that God has got this. That Jesus is holding those, those tears. And uh, it'll be okay. I love you guys. I hope you guys um, are excited that we are going to get to go to church soon. I will see you soon. And just remember that if you um, ever feel the need to cry, you come see me because just know that I am a big kid and I will cry with you. Love y'all. Have a good one. Bye-bye.